do, uh, I have some other clients, and I really wonder, when you do good things, when you do, when you work hard and you do good mm-hmm. deeds and, and you do community service, sometimes it's, uh, sometimes you can't win. No matter what way, you, no matter what you do, you can't win because they'll find a negative in something good no, I, in that, these that's campaigns. That's true. I, I've been president of the Community Foundation. I was on the board for 10 years. I started this fund called Annie's Fund for Women and Girls that the, the Women's Fund runs. and. Uh, we, they've had over 150 recipients. It was an idea that, that I had, that they, they've they done a great job of of uh, moving forward. And you do. You hear people say, well, you, you know, you're rich or you do it for the wrong reasons. And right. I've done things behind the scene when I had no money and now. And But I don't really care about how people think about right. it because the point is it makes me feel like I'm meeting my responsibilities to my my community and, uh, and, well, and they're, they're I, in, do it, I do it because I want to do it, and if people have something bad to say, that's their problem. Therein, I don't care. Therein lies the selfishness. If you want to say people do community service because they're selfish, <laughs> um, you're absolutely right. <laughs> because it is a selfish, it's a little bit of, because you want to make yourself feel better. You want to be able to say, you know what, I did, and, and I, I sometimes will do things, and you work to not let anyone know about yeah. it. You don't you specifically yeah. don't promote it because you want to feel better? And is there anything wrong with that? People are benefiting from that. No, uh, and and I think what people need to realize is right now, if it weren't for this complex set of social networks we have, welfare, social We'd security, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, and all the wonderful not for profits in this com- in this community, yeah. that it would look like the Great Depression out yeah. there. Um, unemployment is. V- very bad, yeah. and underemployment is much worse, and minority employment is much worse than that. So you would see homeless people, you would yeah. see food lines and bread lines, and you do. I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're many of the people that give here don't have to give, but they give. Yeah. It's yeah. an amazing community. I have. To, we, if you have you have questions? Seven three two sixteen eighty. Uh, I think we I'm live in one of the Mike most in generous communities oh, absolutely. In, in in the country. Yeah. We have one of the most successful United Ways, the Heart Run. I mean, I know you do things. Uh, everybody kicks in around here. That's a good thing. Well, I only do things uh, to benefit and profit. <laughs> yes. You have to understand that. So <laughs> the charity aspect is the side. He yeah. only does that for publicity. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. when we were told we couldn't go into a hospital and bring teddy bears to the kids at Christmas, right. they wouldn't let us in because we were doing it for ratings purposes. Uh, uh, and then we got stuck holding all these teddy bears. So, like you say, you got to be like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm just going to do it. Who cares what they think about you? Yeah, it's, well, you have to do it because it makes you think you're doing the right yep. thing. Yep. And if you're looking for positive feedback or rewards, then you should be suspicious of yourself. Right, absolutely. Uh, Michael on the uh, on the line of the question for uh, Richard Hanna's on. He's running for Congress. And it's a, uh, it looks like it's a pretty interesting race going on between he and uh, Mike Curie. Go ahead, Mike. Good morning, everybody. Mr. Hanna. I have a question about, uh, I would like to know your thoughts on why the Democrats are going to wait till after November to extend the tax, tax cuts for mid-class families. And I'll take my answer off here. Okay. Thank you. A pro. The question was? The question was why the Democrats are going to wait till after the elections to uh, apply the uh, the tax cuts to the middle class. I have no idea why they w- would wait on something like that. I think one of the things that people need to realize, and I think this is a place where I differ from my party, that if you do not have a thriving middle class in this country, you don't have a thriving country. Mm-hmm. And uh, the middle class, people talk about trip, trickle down, economics of, from the Reagan era, right. it tr- the middle class, it trickles everywhere. Right. And the larger the middle class, the more successful a country is. And we need to focus on growing our educational system. We are 42nd in K through 12 in the world. 42nd. Think about that. If people saw that as a, the football team in, in Proctor right. was 42nd right. in the state, they'd be up in arms. Well, but that would piss people off. Yeah, that would, no that would be people mad. Yeah. But here we are. We, we graduate. Uh, we're, 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 I think we're 11th or 13th in terms of uh, di- college diplomas in, yeah. in the world amongst 36 developed nations. We need to grow the middle class. I don't know why they're waiting. They have the power to do it now. They ought to do it. Uh, let me ask you about the... Uh, the uh, you fall into this category. You are, I, I believe, you might fall into that wealthiest Americans category. They want to. Uh, they want to let the expi- expiration of the uh, of those tax cuts. Where do you stand on that? They're, that's where the Republicans want to go. The Democrats are saying, let's keep 
Let's let that expire. Sure, sure. Um, well, most people want to see them extended. I'd like to see uh, a fair tax system in this country. I think that, frankly, everyone pays too much in this country. Yeah. The problem right now is that there's too many people in the cart and not enough pulling it. Mm. About 50% of our population are net recipients of benefits. And, and that's an unsustainable model. You can't yeah. borrow money from China and Japan and all over the world and extend that out forever. The only reason it works for us is because we are a reserve currency nation and people still will buy our credit. And uh, so it's, it's, go it's okay for now, but uh, the next generation is in big trouble. Or at any time somebody says, wait a minute, we don't want to buy any more of your debt. Right, right. And that's what's wrong with kind of the, the Social Security, uh, incidentally, is the pro Social Security is all right for now. Uh, this is the first year that it's upside down, where it's paying out more than it's taking in. Yeah. Uh, and the, in 2016, that will become, uh, it will actually do that on a regular basis. And there's enough money till 2037 if the government pays back all the money it's borrowed out of Social Security. Well, the so, big if, right? There. Right. So the, the question, is, the, the point is that deficits are a symptom of the larger disease of spending in this country. We need to get spending under control. We need to put more money back in the private sector. We need to find ways to keep everyone's taxes low. Uh, Larry has a question. Larry, you're on with uh, with Richard Hanna. Go ahead. Yeah, my question is, do you have some telephone um, telemarketer system doing recording messages for you? Is there a telephone telemarketing system doing? Uh, are you are you sending out those? No, but uh, I mean, we, there are there are the Republican Party I understand has people calling on our behalf, trying to organize volunteers and that kind of thing, which is what they do. I do know that our Curie has phone people, uh, somebody the D Triple C or somebody's making false accusations. I have never ever supported and won't support the privatization of any portion of s Social Security. He seems to think that that's a pivotal issue. So Is that what they're saying? That's what yeah, they're saying that you support private. I never have, and he can't prove it, and I won't support that. I'm not supporting that. But they know that that's something that's... That we have one of the oldest populations in the state here, more elderly than other counties. And so that's a that's a divisive issue, and so they say, okay, we'll lie about this because this is some place that'll, that'll yeah. earn Mike our Curie votes, and it'll hurt Hannah. Are you getting, uh, are you getting phone calls, Larry? Yeah, also right before the primary, and my question is, if you're not on the do not call list, are they able still to get them calls through or that? Well, well, these are, these, so these are these are other candidates that you're getting calls from? I, I believe I got one from Hannah, upstating up one, but I wasn't sure. But I did get one before for the primaries, like two or three before the primaries came up for different candidates. I don't know how that works on the Do Not Call list. Uh, do you have any idea how that I works? I have no idea. I, I have no connection with that. We don't have anyone on our payroll doing that, but I know people are doing it. I will tell you, if you're a construction company and you make calls out, um, uh, you sell whatever, insulation or something, um, and you call that Do Not Call list, the, the government comes in and they fine you. Right, yeah. Very, uh, and people very, yell very strict uh, on that. Um, uh, so I, I, I don't know the answer to that, Larry, but, but hey, Han is saying, uh, Richard is saying that the, no one, your camp is not making phone calls. No, but there are people making phone calls trying to get volunteers on, your, on our behalf, on so maybe okay. something there. Who knows? Okay. Uh, all right, Larry, anything else? You good? Okay. If that's the okay. case, I'm sorry about it. Yeah. Uh, these, you know what's happened is these calls, uh, that are, it, 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 this is a heated, um, it's going to be a heated election. And I have a feeling that uh, that a lot a lot more money is going to be coming into this market, yeah. and and you're going to see a lot more commercials that are that are that are run here because this is a race that they're both sides wants to win. Well, everyone wants to win all the time, and people should win based on their ideas, not based on their ability to lie and cheat and and and, yeah. and portray their their opponent as a bad person or something. Uh, and I, that's what is happening in this race. Who would want to run? Well, I, one of the things that people say to me, uh, and it's kind of, in a way, it's energizing, and in another way, I get it. People say to me, why would you want to do this? I mean, politicians are all bad, and, and uh, you're going to be destroyed. You won't, you know, they'll ruin your reputation. And then I think to myself, well, if that, if somebody doesn't do this kind of thing, if somebody doesn't get involved, then what we wind up with is, is more of the same, these right. mediocrities. Uh, people like Mike who simply tell us what we want to hear. Uh, two years ago, it was cellulosic technology was going to save upstate New York. Uh, now it's uh, 
Now it's uh, high-speed rail, and I notice he's not talking about that anymore. Right, right. What about?